DNA, the genetic code that sets the shape of your nose, the color of your eyes, and could it impact your <laughs> politics? New studies suggest that your genes can predict whether you are more likely to lean liberal or conservative. you got to hear about this. Uh, Bill Sullivan is a researcher and a professor at Indiana University, the author of Pleased to Meet Me, Genes, Germs, and the Curious Forces that Make Us Who We Are. And he joins us today from Indianapolis. Bill, good morning to good you. Good morning. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be here. So uh, explain how genetics or germs could impact uh, how we look at politics. Let's do genetics first. Okay. It sounds surprising, but uh, believe it or not, scientists got the ball rolling by looking at twin studies. Identical twins, if separated at birth and then reunited later in life, usually have the same political affiliation. And we do not find that same pattern with fraternal twins, which, who do not have the same exact DNA. So utilizing mm. those studies, scientists have found that genetics probably has a 40% role in whether someone leans to the right or left. That is so surprising because you think you're a product of your environment. You're probably going to vote the way your parents do in most cases. You would think it wouldn't have anything to do with genes. Why is that, do you think? It is very surprising. Uh, but the key thing to remember is it's 40%. So that leaves 60% for sure. environmental right. influence. So there is one gene in particular that's quite fascinating that has come up in multiple studies. It's called DRD4, and it stands for dopamine receptor. So for those who don't know, dopamine is a critical neurotransmitter in the brain mm -hmm. that motivates us to obtain a reward. So it makes our brain feel good. So there's two different variations in this DRD4 receptor one of which needs a lot more dopamine in order to feel the same satisfaction. And that variant is found in people who engage in thrill-seeking activities, who are novelty seekers, and explorers who are unafraid of change. What does that sound like? It's consistent with the personality traits of a liberal. So they tend to have this variation in the DRD4 receptor. That's really interesting. Are, are you suggesting with your, with your uh, information here that a person can essentially change their politics by changing the bacteria or germs or genomes? Good point. Let's get back to the bacteria. So a very surprising phenomena is occurring in science where we are beginning to appreciate the role of the trillions of microbes that reside in our guts. So you got about three pounds of bacteria down there, which is about the same weight as your brain. Okay. In fact, some scientists call that your second brain. They produce neurotransmitters like serotonin and so on that can influence how you feel and can influence your mood. So those bacteria are actually um, drivers in a great deal of our behavior. One quick experiment I'll tell you about that emphasizes how important this is. It was done in mice. If you take intestinal bacteria from a brave mouse and put it into a shy mouse, that shy mouse becomes more adventurous and more exploratory. Really? So what's the main takeaway it's, it's here, It's mind-blowing. Yeah, it is. What's the, the main, main takeaway? takeaway mm -hmm. I think, well, we, we have a polarization issue in this country. Half the country is on the left, mm -hmm. half is on yes. the right. And that leaves a gaping wound in the middle, which we need to stitch up before it gets infected. And I think what my book is trying to achieve um, is that we have biological basis for all of our behaviors, including our political leanings. And if we understand the forces that govern those behaviors, we're in a better position to deal with them, and we're in a better position to deal with people who don't agree with us. Uh, really fascinating stuff. I read all about it in his book. It's called Please to Meet Me. Bill Sullivan from Indiana University. Sir, thank you very much. Thanks, Bill. Thank you.